Good morning, Central Illinois. I'm Oliviana Kalmies. If you're just now joining us, welcome back to our second hour of Weekend Daybreak Sunday. Let's get back into your top headlines this morning. What you're looking at right now is the empty warehouse building in Detroit where the couple hid out this week until early Saturday morning when police say a tipster identified the couple's car. I woke up this morning, I was checking my phone, and you know how you get those memories of the past year or mm -hmm. past however, however many years? Well, today, last year, our photographer Matt was helping me scrape ice off my car to head to a story. And I'm really glad, even though it's a little chillier today, that that's not the no case. Ice. Welcome back. Innovation at One Arkansas Library. It's bringing a whole new world to visitors, one gadget and gizmo at a time. As Cassandra Webb reports, whether it be a sewing machine or an air fryer, this library isn't just about books anymore. WAND has been partnering up with the Salvation Army to help make this holiday season special for everyone. And this morning, I'm joined here live with Development Director Kyle Carson. Now, Sound Theater has been around for more than a century, and that means it's seen a lot, too. I have a closer look inside to see how the theater and Decatur go together like butter and popcorn. The line of satellites goes through the sky, but a lot of people probably look at it if, they, if you don't like know, and you're shooting like... Shooting star. Either shooting star or like maybe UFO. Okay. But not a UFO, just sure? a, a line of satellites going by. So they were uh, positive. Positive. Okay. 100%. <laughs> um, for today, right now. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, just rain today. Grab your boots, your umbrella, and have a good Sunday, guys. We'll see you back tonight at 5.